hey survivors welcome to the video please like and comment remember to share the video on social media or with anyone who you believe may help if you haven't subscribed please click the subscribe button underneath the video and the bell button so you can receive all of the notifications of my future videos if you would like to make a donation please follow the link in the video description if you are interested in a coaching session my email is in the video description as well on to the topic of this video what triggers the narcissist what do I mean by a narcissist being triggered a narcissist is triggered when they experience a low emotional vibrational frequency such as anger desire fear grief apathy guilt or shame it may seem like the narcissist is always triggered as they are shame-based individuals narcissists are triggered by the very things that make our lives worth living our joy happiness any form of progression or success in any aspect of our lives your feeling of excitement offends them it triggers something inside of them something that just makes them want to ruin it because they don't have the emotional capabilities to experience that they can only mimic or imitate what they have seen from people who can genuinely experience these emotions narcissists are shame-based individuals if you look at the emotional vibrational frequency chart on Google images you will see that shame is the lowest of all frequencies emotions such as joy love reason acceptance and willingness are some of the highest frequencies as long as a person has low vibrational emotions such as anger desire fear grief apathy guilt or shame they will never be able to experience real genuine joy love reason acceptance or willingness notice the order of these emotions narcissist or not a person must confront their negative emotions they must reflect on their anger desire fear grief apathy guilt or shame rather than projecting these emotions onto someone else like the narcissist does until the person reflects on these negative emotions they will never get to experience real joy love reason acceptance or willingness this means that the narcissist will never have any willingness towards you they will never accept you or wish to reason with you which means that there will never be any real joy or love in the relationship even if the negative emotions they felt were towards someone else outside of the relationship this would still interfere with their emotional vibrational frequency narcissists do not know how to forgive or let go to do that they would have to self-reflect and look within themselves instead they choose to hold on to grudges and resentment which is preventing them from ever having neutrality a person like this who holds on to their anger desire fear grief apathy guilt or shame will never experience real joy love reason acceptance or willingness 
at least until they let go of those negative emotions. And of course, we know the narcissist is never going to do that. So they will, they will be forever stuck at a low vibrational frequency. This means that they cannot feel the way that we feel. They cannot experience real joy or happiness. They do not feel any excitement. They cannot get the same satisfaction or fulfillment. This makes the narcissist extremely envious and jealous. This is why they are always monitoring your feelings and activities. It makes someone to sabotage anything or anyone that might make you experience the very emotions that they do not experience. They are very good at mimicking joy, love, reason, acceptance and willingness, especially during the, during the love bombing phase. But of course, this is all fake. They don't really feel that way. They just mimic it to attract you. But we know that they are operating at a very low frequency. So no matter how hard they try, they do not experience high frequency emotions like we do. Their emotions are based on hate, anger, envy and jealousy. They can only feel happy or excited at the expense of someone else which isn't genuine. The narcissist cannot feel genuine happiness, love or an emotional connection towards anyone. Maybe this is why they're always trying to bring someone down. Any drive or ambition must be diminished by the narcissist. It is a reminder of everything they are not. You believe that you can achieve or obtain great things. They do not believe this. They cannot allow themselves to believe such a thing because it would only trigger their inferiority complex. They hate your confidence. They will do whatever they can to diminish your confidence. They will even put you in certain situations where they know you are going to be rejected just so they can see it happen. It makes them feel better about themselves. We trigger the narcissist. We are not meant for narcissist consumption. When the narcissist tries to consume us, it's like a food allergy. It's going to conflict with the energy that we are giving off. They are on a completely different frequency. If you look at the, the emotional vibrational frequency chart, you will see that they are operating at a very low frequency, while you are operating somewhere in the middle, if not close to, to the top. If you are watching these videos, it is likely that you are an empath, and this led you to fall into the trap of the narcissist. You have to recognize that you are not dealing with someone of like kind. Now I'm going to get into specific things which I have noticed to trigger the narcissist. Any form of progression or success in any aspect of your life will trigger them. Anything you have achieved or ob obtained will trigger them. Sometimes it will appear as though there is no reason for them to be triggered. But just because it isn't happening in the physical world, it doesn't mean that it isn't going on in their minds. They could be triggered by something you experienced in the past, or they could be anticipating something that might happen in the future. Past and potential future events are a real trigger for the narcissist, especially since they are out of their control. 
The narcissist cannot control what has happened in the past. But this doesn't mean that they are going to accept it. They will rewrite the past in a way that it makes them feel more comfortable. They will also do whatever they can to control and alter your potential future as a way of preventing any possible triggers for them. If they see you smiling, laughing or joking with a friend, family member, relationship partner or anyone else, you probably already know that this will really get under their skin. Especially if the narcissist is a friend or family member and they are witnessing your joy, happiness or excitement around a potential relationship partner. This is probably one of the narcissist's greatest triggers. And you can be sure that they will hold on to that for the rest of their lives. They will use it to motivate their aggression in any argument or rage from that point on. Any positive emotions you experience will trigger the narcissist, even if you are by yourself. Although, if you are with someone else, that will really wind them up. It triggers them because they are reflecting on themselves and how they cannot experience higher frequencies like you can. They will also look back throughout their lives and how they never got to experience that. Maybe you progressed, achieved or obtained somewhere where they couldn't. Maybe you did something that they wanted to do. Remember the narcissist feels entitled to do whatever they want. If you can do something, they should be able to do it. Of course, most often, they do not even have the capabilities, but they do not take that into consideration. In their minds, anything that you can do, they can do it better. That's the narrative they constantly tell themselves. So whenever you do something that causes them to question that narrative, you are going to be causing a narcissistic injury. Narcissists are triggered by your beauty, both on the inside and outside. They do not feel beautiful and they know that you do. They know that you like the way you look and they don't like the way they, they look. They are always comparing themselves to someone else and they don't like that you don't do that. So naturally this is going to trigger them. They also have to see you as being all bad. They have black or white thinking. So in their minds they are all good and you are all bad. All of your qualities have to be seen as bad for them to feel all good. This is why they are always trying to project their emotions onto you. They want you to feel the way that they do. They are always trying to make you feel insecure and inferior to them or around them. They want to destroy your self-esteem, self-worth self-belief and self-assurance. They don't want you to have those qualities because they do not have them. Of course they feel entitled to have those qualities without doing any of the work. So they will, they will just pretend like they have it already. But when you present yourself to them and they have to witness the fact that you have those qualities for real it triggers them. Narcissists need people, money and material things to create the illusion that they are whole and valuable inside. They cannot do this on their own. Take away the people, money and material items and they've got nothing. 
they cannot produce the real qualities on their own they can't even do it with all of the people money and material items they still have to fake their confidence which soon becomes arrogance because it isn't real it's forced another way to discover what triggers the narcissist is to listen what to what they are saying to you look at what they are displaying to you most often they will give themselves away they can't help but re reveal what it what it is that is bo bothering them if they are trying to make you experience a certain emotion that's exactly how they are feeling if they want you to feel hateful or angry they are feeling hateful or angry if they want you to feel envious or jealous they are feeling en envious or jealous if their trigger has to do with a certain job material item friendship or relationship partner you could be sure that they will be displaying something similar to you or speaking on it in an indirect way they can't help but reveal their triggers to you remember narcissists do not self-reflect or look within themselves they do not heal or resolve what is bothering to them so they can't help but reveal their triggers to you by telling you indirectly or displaying something to you and remember however they are trying to make you feel that's exactly how they feel be aware that the narcissist will try to sabotage or prevent whatever it is that makes you feel joy happiness or excitement they like to pull the strings behind the scenes in a way that helps to prevent any potential narcissistic injuries and regulate their emotions if they see you experiencing any joy happiness or excitement they will do something to destroy it they want you to feel the way that they feel they want you to experience anger desire fear grief apathy guilt or shame while well, they create the illusion of feeling the way that you feel they want to mimic your experience of joy love reason acceptance or willingness I hope this video has helped you to understand what triggers the narcissist I'm sure there are many more examples that could be listed so if you have experienced something else please share it in the comments I know that they are triggered by many of my videos when you start speaking on the the things that they do when you start speaking on the truth of the situation that will trigger them they don't want you to expose the truth or expose what they really are so of course that's going to trigger them anyway thank you for watching the video please remember to like and share the video with anyone who you believe may help click the sus subscribe button and bell icon if you haven't subscribed yet I will have more videos coming soon